My name is Yeti Glassman. I was born in 1920 in Sardagura, Romania, to a large extended family. In 1941, my family was deported to a forced labor camp in Transnistria. Within a year, my parents and brother had been killed and the rest of my family had been sent to another labor camp. I survived by sneaking out to work at a Ukrainian family in return for food. One morning in 1944, we discovered that all the German soldiers were gone. Together with other survivors, we began to make our way home. It was very painful for me to leave my family behind in a mass grave. On the way, I met Mrs. Katz, a family friend. And after months of walking, we finally uh, arrived to home. When we reached my house, I found only empty walls. My home had been raided. Neighbors were wearing my clothes and they turned away when they saw me. Two days later, on our way to the market, we were captured by Russian soldiers. They were collecting people and transporting them to work at the coal mines in Donbass. That night, we managed to escape before the trains left. We, we then traveled to Chernovitz, where Mrs. Katz had a sister-in-law, who helped us find work and a safe place to live. In 1948, we traveled to Dornavatra after hearing that the Jewish agency had set up there to help survivors. I registered to go to Israel. Two weeks after arriving there, I met a friend from Dornavatra who helped me find a job and a place to live near her in Jerusalem. Still looking for family, I managed to contact an uncle who had immigrated to Canada in 1920. He had been de desperately looking for survivors for our family. I had to tell him that I was their only one. My uncle immediately started the process to bring the, me to Canada. And almost a year later, he met my ship in Halifax. He brought me to his home in Montreal and quickly found me a job in a clothing factory. In 1957, I married a Holocaust survivor that had met in Israel. We had one daughter, and I'm now also blessed with two grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. 